All right, we're going to be reading some of the comments that you send to me when we come back. Also, if you're really missing sports, you can always check out this Portland Kids Trick Shots on YouTube. We're going to finish the story right after this. All right, he's from Portland. He's 12 years old, a gift from the tennis table gods and an Olympic hopeful. And during quarantine, Kevin Wynn is going viral for his skills and trick shots after ESPN shared some of his videos on Facebook. I met Kevin a few months ago, actually, when he was here promoting the Olympics right here at KGW back when that was still a thing. And we chatted today about his training and internet glory. How have you been training? How have you been staying sharp on the paddles, man? Uh, basically, I have a robot at home that I can use. And it feeds me like top spin and underspin and like that's pretty like not as good as like of course a training partner, but it keeps me in shape and like still I still have muscle memory. So tell me about the tell me about these videos you've been making, these trick shot videos. I was just sharing them to like a couple friends of mine, but like I was pretty amazed when ESPN started picking them up and I'm still like really Surprise now. It's really cool. Look, this kid is one of my favorite people. All right, and we're kind of buds actually, ever since I scored a point on him when we played at the station. And even now, he still makes me think that he didn't let that happen, which makes him a good kid. Kevin was preparing for the U.S. Nationals in July, but that's been postponed for now. Uh, he's not too bummed. Kevin's got a long career ahead of him. You can check him out, all his trick shots on uh, videos on his YouTube page. Go there, subscribe, support this local kid. Thanks to Kevin, he's the man. Let's read some comments. Casey writing in, Tito's and Sprite, really? Let's not judge, all right? Don't judge me, buddy. Yeah, it's delicious, I love it. Uh, also heard from Kevin, what's up with the trend of having news anchors stand? I don't know. Where's my seat, man? They make me do this. I need to stretch out before each show. Uh, Wayne said, thanks for staying on the Oregon unemployment debacle. I can't imagine the, ment imagine the mental anguish these people are going through. I, to me, you know, the financial strain is one thing, but it's the mental anguish that it creates and the difficulty it creates for people and, and all of that in their home. And even the unemployment uh, department, the employment department, the people there said they really are working hard to make sure that people feel like they're being heard. So we're gonna make sure that they're staying true to that word. So stay with us here on the story. We'll keep reporting our best for you. We'll see you back here tomorrow.